Hello and welcome back to Grow Joyfully. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring day. I just got out here to the garden shed or the greenhouse for the first time around 3 o'clock and it is 85 degrees in the greenhouse. And yes, I have a cold yet again. So this year I'm growing some herbs, hopefully to be able to help with my immunity because it certainly seems to be down this last year. I've, this is my fifth cold since August, and that just is not right. It's a gorgeous day outside. I've been doing a lot of things, cleaning the kitchen, feeding and watering the chickens, the rabbit, and the rooster, and now I need to go and water the chicks. First of all, we will open up some windows. and leave the door open. There it is. Over 80 degrees. It's already come down a few degrees. Okay, let's go water chicks. Pretty warm here in the dog hotel too. So I'm going to turn off one of these heat lamps. I know it's probably the same wherever you are, but the heat has been up and down, up and down, up and down. It's kind of hard to keep up with it. Just a little tidbit of information here. I have a little chick heater right here, and then I have the two heat lamps, and they are um, zip tied to the fence panel because heat lamps can be very dangerous. That's why they created this cool chick heater and it's up on legs. You can put the bottom part down and leave the top part up. They go to where they need their heat comfort. So if they're hot, you see this one here? He's on top of the heater. She is on top of the heater. These little sweeties are getting bigger and losing all their little chick fluff. And the white crested black Polish just cracked me up. We were not successful in raising white crested black polish to full maturity last time because our cats ate them. And that was because we didn't have a safe enough setup like this. And because of their cute little top knots, they do attract predators more readily. Having chicks is wonderful. Having chickens is wonderful. But you have to realize that it does take dedication and time and commitment. This is how their water looks at least twice a day. Because they think they're looking for things even though we feed them food. They're scratching around constantly. That's how they forage and feed. And they flick it up into their water nonstop. So that's just a little fact there that I thought I'd let you know. Having them is definitely worth it, but you have to be responsible. You have to be determined. You have to be on it. I almost left the dog hotel door open, which isn't very smart because we have cats. Even though we have this fence across the top of their trough, still, I don't want to invite any problems. Luckily, I have this outside sink in the garage and so it makes it a lot easier and cleaner for me to clean up their, their water and food containers. I use a little bit of soap and get that all washed out really well, rinsed, lots of hot water. Then we put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the water for the health of the chicks. It's supposed to help with their tummy, digestive systems, etc. Give them a good, good scrub. It's only taken about 15 minutes to bring the temperature down to, oh, I don't know, about 72. Opening up the windows and the door certainly helps. The chicks are all fed and watered. Some new bedding put in. And they're all comfy cozy and I've turned off both of the heat lamps. I have several different varieties in here. These are our youngest ones and those are olive eggers. 
Little cuties. Uh oh, don't pick on him. That's an Americana. This is where they start getting their pecking order going. Those funny ones that I told you are white crested, black Polish. That's a speckled Sussex, and it has a sister right down there. And we have, so I said, we have that Americana, and we have, I believe, three other ones. These pretty ones here, the gray ones, are Lavender Orpingtons. And I think that's it between the Americanas, the Olive Eggers, the Speckled Sussex, the Lavender Orpingtons, and then the White Crested Polish. So they're a lot of fun. They're really cute. They do take care, and you have to be responsible for them. Um, my parents and other families often had a policy of, we don't eat until the animals do. And I think that's a good policy to live by. It's such a gorgeous day. Everything is in the beginning stages still. We've um, actually mown the lawn twice back here and in the front. Um, there's a lot of dry patches and bald patches still in the grass, but we have some tulips over there. And it just feels so springy and so delicious. There's Lucy over there having a nap in the sun. My very favorite bird is back. I don't think you can hear it between our chickens and the noise from the road. My mom told me that it's a chickadee. Long time ago, we thought it was a meadowlark. It is the sweetest, most beguiling sound you'll ever hear. I like to get fanciful and pretend that it's my dad coming back to give me a little message. He's been gone for seven and a half years and I miss him every single day. I just bought some more potting soil and perlite for good drainage and some more solo cups and name tags so it's time for me to get on and start potting and take a look at all my little sweetie seedlings see how everybody's doing and get them watered. I hope you're having a lovely day that it's very productive even if you just sit outside and enjoy the the soft wind the sunshine and blue sky go for it and don't forget to grow joyfully we'll see you next time